Hi guys and welcome to my 12 tutorial on PEP8 and in this tutorial I will show you how to use functions. I also show you how to create them and what possibly you can use functions for. So it will be a simple code, a simple two variables and a function. I will do nothing uh, you know, exotic in this tutorial, I will just show you how to create a function and how you can use it. So that's pretty much how it will work. There is a tutorial on functions, uh, I already have one, but it's um, only available in December for Christmas special. Um, so I'm creating this one only uh, for you to access it throughout the year. If you, want to, if you want to see this tutorial, if you want to know about the function, you can access it throughout the year, not just in December. So, uh, to start off, I will use branch first uh, to main. Uh, yeah, I will use small letters, it doesn't matter. I will need uh, probably two variables, x, y, let's say, uh, with block 2 and y as well as a block 2. And um, now the function, I have my variables, now the function you can create over here, uh, under the variables, um, above the variables, in this, basically in this uh, section, where you have, uh, between your main, you can declare your variables normally. You can declare your function, or you can do it outside of the code. So after you stop the program, you can do it there as well. I am used to doing it uh, at the beginning of the code, so I will just do it here. Um, but as, in, as I'm saying, it's uh, up to you. However you learned, you can create it at the top, where you create your variables when you declare them, or at the bottom, uh, if you learn that way, you can also do it that way. It's not a problem. Of course, the, the function is also not executed like the variables, so um, you simply create it and uh, you skip to the main and from there you can call, call your function. Now, the function looks pretty much the same as variable, it just doesn't have type. So, for example, these variables have that block to type. And so we know it's a, it's a, a variable which will hold some kind of numbers. Now, the, the, the function itself doesn't have any type. So you just write the name of the function and you write the code you want it to have. So you can pretty much write any type of code. Um, because it, it is like a main, although you just have to call it. So you can pretty much write, uh, in, uh, I mean, addition statements, uh, a read statements. You can um, add stuff and uh, compare stuff. You can do the loops in the functions. You can do pretty much anything you did in the main. So you've learned about those things. I will just show you how to use it. So um, I will use example as my function name. And there is a limitation as well here. You cannot use a, a function names which are very, very long. Uh, I think the, the, the limit is nine characters or something like that. The, the function name cannot be more than nine characters or something. Uh, I'm not sure on this, you can check this out, but if you use a, um, a bigger name, maybe it works now, maybe it doesn't, I, I don't know. Um, I know I've had some, uh, some problems if I used uh, a too long name, uh, so perhaps maybe that was in, in, the, in the old version of PEP8, I don't know. I don't remember right now. So pretty much, yeah, that's how you create the function. Uh, you have a name of the function, a semicolon, and then you write your code, whatever you like. So you can add an input statement, output statement, you, you can uh, call another function from here. You can do pretty much anything you like. So um, for this uh, tutorial, I'll just put all my code in the function, and then I'll from main, I'll call it and execute it. So pretty much, you know, de decimal input, I will do x, and I will do decimal input for y. And uh, depending on uh, the input, I'll just um, add something or, or just subtract something. So um, obviously I'll have to load, um, for example, x. I will compare it to 5, let's say. And um, I'll branch it if it's uh, equal or greater to. Um, branch uh, greater or equal, like this. If it's greater or equal, I will branch it to add, for example. If it's uh, less than, I will uh, subtract. Okay, so it's very simple. Just simple compare statement to branches. Now I have to do my branches. So add branch over here. And I will just simply add uh, y to it. 
and store that in um, in X. I won't um, display it here. I want to um, display it in my main. So this uh, function will be only to calculate, do the calculation, and the rest of it will be in the main. So if I want to display something, I'll just display it in the main. So what I can do is branch it to, uh, for example, finish or, or something like that. So I'll just write fn. So I'll branch it to fn. And uh, the same is with subtract and uh, sub, and I'll just uh, subtract accumulator uh, y d and uh, store that in x and again branch it to fn now there is my main uh, so i have my main here as you can see uh, this is this will be the function and as i said you can put pretty much anything in the function it, ha it can have loops it can have uh, as you can see a compare statements uh, branches as well you can have and uh, it can branch to a different um, location in different uh, functions so you can branch it to main no problem if it's in the main um, okay so let's first of all call the function so call uh, I'll just do the all right this and uh, call that's how you call the function so call example just simple like this and um, the first of all the, the first thing that will happen in the main it will call uh, the function called example and then I want to simply um, display my result so I have a uh, branch fn uh, which as you remember whenever I add or subtract I will have a uh, branch to fn and fn would simply display the result uh, so I just say uh, decimal output x and d now I have to stop the program and end it okay so it's very simple I can run it now in terminal IO so the, the, the code is, uh, there is no problem with the code. I can simply input now two uh, values. Let's say I input six and input two. And uh, the program will add those, thi those two things together and display it um, from, the, from the main, pretty much. So um, the result is eight, pretty much. And um, that's, pretty, that's, that's how the functions work. And you can dis display, I mean, you can de declare that function over here as well. So you can do it here as well. After the stop, not after the end, after the stop, I believe it was. So if I delete this, it should still work. Oh, no, I deleted some too much something. Uh, yeah, I need to delete this only. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So I can check it again. There we go. And let's say this one, different one now. And it works perfectly fine. So you can declare it uh, uh, where you declare your variables normally at the top, or you can do it after the stop. And uh, everything will work as well. So you can declare your variables there as well, all, all, as well as your functions and pretty much anything you can declare. You can do it at the top or at the bottom. It's up to you, uh, whichever you want to use. So, so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. The function is, um, you know, how uh, how this works already. Uh, function is read um, in sequence, so everything happens over here. You already know how it happens. Um, the simple call, st call statement, you just say call and the name of the function. I can check uh, with the longer name, let's say example uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and if this will work. And uh, because I don't know if there is, yeah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it cannot be more than eight characters, actually, not nine, eight characters. So, as I said, there is a limitation on the name. So, for example, if you have a longer name, you will have to shorten it. So, for example, use a first letter of each uh, word, for example, or something like that. You, you will need to shorten it because the, the, uh, the function will not allow more than eight characters. So, you can have only eight characters. Uh, in your call statement, that that's why it doesn't work, and and obviously uh, you will have problem. But otherwise, it will work perfectly fine, as you can see, and uh, we'll have no problem with it whatsoever. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. And um, thanks for watching my tutorial. If you like my videos, subscribe on the channel or on my videos. Uh, I also have a website uh, which you can visit um, I've updated the links that they didn't work uh, so I have updated I've put them on Google Drive so you can view them straight on the internet you don't have to download them 
and they're also on um, Mediafire which you can view as well on the internet you don't have to download them if you want to view the tutorials which are the written tutorial documents um, and there's loads of them as well uh, any updates on my website as well you can check that out um, I already said what I want to do uh, in the future and um, I hope you like this tutorial and um, well if you like it just uh, subscribe and then add to favorites or whatever you like and I will see you in my next tutorial. See you, bye.